If I can use the roller just for one thing, I would use this for my upper back. You're gonna love this. Place your upper back right below your shoulder blades on the roller. Put your hands behind the head, lift your bum, and you start to roll your body back and forth using your feet to help you push and pull. Okay. Now this is great for those of us who have a tight upper back, which is not uncommon at all for quick uh, and very enjoyable <laughs> relief. Okay, now the target area here is just the upper spine bone right between the shoulder blades, the upper spine bones between the shoulder blades. Do not roll up onto your neck and do not roll onto your low back. Okay. Because your low back and your neck are less stable and um, if you do not know how to use the roller on the neck and the low back it might cause trouble okay and then you drop your pelvis same starting position with the roller under your shoulder blades interlace your fingers lift the chest up over the roller and press your back into the roller to curl up. Okay. The elbows are slightly forward and your fingers are strongly interlaced to support your head and your neck. Then you go up. Oh, this feels so good. And then you come forward. Okay. So this exercise stretches and lengthen your spine hmm? as well as it's a great uh, ab crunch variation right it's like you're doing ab crunches but the range is bigger now that you have the room to go back over the roller okay? you have room to go back over the roller and then come forward and you see how much more you can do with the spine with this variation it is actually a better way to do a crunch because you get to stretch your abdominal muscle and shorten your abdominal muscle stretching and shortening stretching and shortening you're working a bigger capacity of what the abdominal muscle range is and that leads to better breathing and more upright posture with a more open chest. And the next one I want to show you is by placing the roller under your armpit. This is your armpit right there. It's not directly under it. It's under and a little bit in the back. Under and a little bit in the back. So you put your, oh, the muscle there. It's very painful. And then support your head with your hand. And you can just simply stay here. Or you can start to roll up and down this way towards and away woo, from your arm. Just a little. Okay. Now it can be quite painful, so be mindful. If it's too much, get yourself off the roller yeah okay and then you go forward and back forward and back okay now uh your legs can get tight um because of a couple of things first if you have a shoulder that rolls forward when your arm bone rolls forward, that's where the lats muscles is contracted. <coughs> contracted, it means shortened. Yeah? So if you have a roll shoulder like this, 
your lats can get quite tight and this can give you a quite a good relief and the other reason is that you have done a lot of exercises to strengthen your lat muscles so those exercises can cause your lat to shorten yeah, and to become tight and that can also contribute to this posture right so this will be a good relief and after you have done this for i don't know for as as long as you want as long as you can tolerate not too long and not too long get up and wait for a moment and then you raise your arm up and down to see if your arm movement your shoulder movement improves it will right and another benefit is that when you take a breath that side of the ribs may feel freer now try the second side or simply just do that one side that feels tighter thanks for watching i hope you have enjoyed <laughs> this massage or this self-massage technique and i'll see you next time bye